Arr, 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 says the Mr. Dinosaur. Welcome to the Dinosaur Creation Channel. And it don't matter who's trying to get you. Greater is love in you than even the worst gorilla that wants to try to eat your brain. So don't even worry about it. Love gonna make a way where there seem to be no way. And guess what? This is an exciting program. Because you know why? I gotta tell you why. I gotta tell you because this is the hour for truth to come out so that all little little uh, kitty kitties can understand what God really did in the world. And so I'm really happy have everybody here. Today we're talking about evolution. And the guy in evolution, I'm going to tell you what he said. Because he was the guy that kind of invented that. So get ready. But understand this, all you little guys. Know that, see that, see that electricity there? That's like a lie. A lie is like electricity. It go like a wildfire. People start being like tattletales and gossips. And they start talking about stuff. And so guess what? We shouldn't gossip. And we, we should go to school and mind our mama. But hey, guess what? The truth is that there is no defense against a lie. Absolutely no defense against any lie. And so what happens, it becomes mesmerizing. If you ever heard that word, mesmerizing? You see, mesmerizing is like hypnotized. Who, I can, how many guys out there, raise your hands now, how many guys out there know what it's like to be hypnotized? Wow! Lots of you guys. Okay, how many guys ever heard of mesmerize? Oh, not too many. Okay. Hypnotize and mesmerize. See, they both rhyme. And what hypnotize was the lie that we come from monkeys. And you know, that ain't even good. So it's time to reveal the truest truth. And it's time to be like Mr. Dinosaur. But I come to figure something out. I figured it out that if I wants to do good in the world... I got to have my dinosaur be like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And he got the crooked nose. Look at that. That guy got the crooked nose. But I do know one thing. It don't matter if he got the crooked nose or not. What happens is this is like slithering. Slithering. And what was happening out there was truthfully all about the dinosaurs. And all about no clowning around now. That is for sure. Because these dino guys, they had a big bite. And they used to eat tigers and wolves and like one bite and just go up them down. But you know Harry Potter? Yeah, Harry. Okay, everybody raise their hands that know about Slytherin. What was the Slytherin all about? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Slytherin was the shapeshifters. Of uh, the 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 Harry Potter series, those Slytherin guys, they was like the Snake of Eden, and that Snake of Eden, he wasn't putting on no John Lennon glasses. Now that guy was was pretty pretty crazy guy, and so what what happened is these guys were shapeshifters, and they would become anything they want. So uh, the fallen ones, like the demonic forces. When they fell, then they had giants in those days with humans. Tall guys, 25 foot tall. Man, Andre the Giant, I don't know if you guys ever heard of that guy. He was big. I mean, his hand was twice as big as mine. But the guys that were 25 feet tall, it was like, wow. And, you know, if you saw one of these, you'd be like, Help, I'm stuck in the elevator. Because if they squish you, that's it. Everything going to go out your ears. So, but I know one thing. It's time to realize when the fickle finger of fate come your way and you think uh, somebody's saying that we come from apes, you know, tell them, tell them like smart people going to say. They say you can only get uh, doggies from dog DNA. You can only get kitties from uh, kitty DNA. 
you can only get humans from a human a DNA, and you can only get the monkeys from a monkey DNA. And so in this hour, it's time for the shattering of the power of the holy people because we got to learn the mysteries of God. And then we're not going to be tricked no more by, by lies because we got to move ahead and we got to look at the real Lord God because the real Lord God, he has so many good things to say. And uh, now I lose my other glasses. Oh, dear. Murphy's Law now. If it can go wrong, it will. It does. So, in the courts of law, how many of you kids know what the courts of law do? They have like a jury. And if there was a trial over uh, uh, evolution, I would win because I got all the evidence I need for anybody that's not stupid. Now, if they're stupid, they no evidence in the world. All the evidence I could show them. Don't matter if they're stupid. They're still going to want to believe what they do just because they've always believed it and they're in their comfort zone. But guess what, guys? None of us, none of us ever even start to live until we leave our comfort zone. we got to go out into the deep. Don't stay at the shore. That's for losers. You want to go out into the deep. And if you go looking for love out in the deep, you're going to find it. Knock and it'll be open. And it's time to love everybody with passion. And because real love, not fake love. Most people got fake love, you know. But real love, it love you in spite of. It don't love you because. It don't love you if. So stop clowning around about the most important thing about love. Because if you don't, then everybody going to start being mesmerized by their own by their own craziness. So it came about. Where did I put my glasses? Oh, I always forget my glasses on top of my head because I got the sometimes. You know, sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But in any court of law, it has to be backed up by evidence, it's called. It's called proof. You got, who out there knows what proof is? Okay, by the time I'm done, you might think that this is proof, because I think it is. And so, it's got to be valid. Now, according to people that wrote books about the guy that invented uh, evolution, his name was Charles Darwin. Uh, it's a fact that... That father of evolution who invented that theory of evolution, it's, it's a fact that uh, he had a, a deathbed confession when he was dying. When that guy, because so many people started looking at, not at God, they, they discounted God. And then they started thinking about science and science didn't even know what they was talking about. They were saying little uh, fish become, the, become the, the froggies, the froggies jump out and they become the lizard. And then the lizard uh, jump out and become like a, a horse and then the horse become a dis. And it don't, they, that is so silly. But one thing for sure, uh, it's time to hear what he said. Now, it's a fact. And a fact is absolute, positive, 100% gazillion, quadrillion uh, proof. It's a fact that's woven into the fabric of time that Darwin, the God that invented that, he turned his back on everything. Everything that his, his theory now. And he denied everything. And even affidavits have been sworn in court because there was people uh, going to court over this. Was it really true? Did he really say this stuff? And you know what? It was word against word. But the truth is, uh, all the evidence backed it up because he even made notes in his Bible. He really did. I might even read you some. But what that guy said, now they were kind of cryptic, his messages. But what happened? Uh he he believed that it's impossible for those who have once really, really loved and loved really, truly, like unconditional, anyone that's truly tasted of that heavenly gift, if if they if they uh, should fall away and stop being totally loving, he said it's impossible uh, that they could uh, 
uh, be good for God anymore because they commit something called blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's the only time anybody ever get thrown out where there's weeping, gnashing of teeth. Don't even worry about that. Never going to happen as long as you just keep loving people because that's the language that everybody understands, even with the smile. So it was time to realize that it's really, really true what happened next. And so uh, it came about uh, in questioning the truth of his own, um, uh, what he was telling people, he said, well, and these is his words, the guy that invented the, uh, evolution, it's, it's all totally uh, been proven not right. So that guy, Charles Darwin, he says, okay, he say, if evolution is true, then he say, why then is not every geological formation and every stratum? Now, a stratum is just uh, like a part of the earth. Uh, it's like a layer. Uh, why are why are they not full of intermediate links? You see, he was talking about why is there no uh, intermediate, uh, no missing link? Like, how come if you're going to have uh, a, a little kitty become a tiger then how come there's no middle size uh uh kitty kitty tiger you know if they really did change and grow into different species and a kitty a little tiny kitty and a tiger uh they two totally different things only a tiger could have a tiger that's the dna and only a kitty could have a kitty so what he was saying is okay well, if evolution is true, how come I can't find, you know, instead of a little kitty, just you hold them like this, how come you can't find a big kitty, like at least that big, if the tiger is like way bigger? There got to be something in the middle. So he was saying, okay, well, that don't sound good for evolution because they never find no middle uh, species. And so uh, he say, he say, he say, what, what about that? What about that? He say. And then he said, and this is this is funny. I like this. This is this is Charles Darwin now. Don't forget the guy that was inventing evolution. Because it's time to stop being like slithering people trying to understand trying to believe that the God the God didn't create nothing. Things just happen on their own. And so it, don't be a clown. Don't be clowning around with the truth. So uh, what he said, what Dar Charles Darwin said, and he wasn't wixing his words about any of this. He was saying what it was because he came to realize that it was not true that a, 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 a snake just naturally evolved into like a lizard. But guess what? Kind of evolution did happen. But the kind of evolution did happen was was the fallen uh, demons. They came down, satanic fallen forces, and then they saw little lizards and little snakes, and then they uh, satanically influenced them, and then they came big snakes and big lizards. That's how that works. So he he say he say so the people stop be mesmerized and hypnotized by lies because there is no defense against a lie. So uh, what he say, he say, to even imagine, to suppose that somebody, I, with all of its, uh, now he used some big words, uh, with all of its, uh, uh, I can't even say it, with all of its imitable contrivances for adjusting the focuses to different distance of the eye and uh, all of the thing about the eye for admitting different amounts of light and for the correction of spherical and chromatic aberration. Boy, those are some big science words, but don't worry. All he's saying, he say, he say if that that is the most, I confess, uh, to think that that could happen on its own is absolutely absurd. Uh, to the highest degree. That means that the, the guy uh, who doesn't want people mesmerized no more by lies, he, about his own uh, uh, theory, he say, can't happen. It's just crazy, crazy. That's what, uh, that's what that, that word means. It means crazy. 
And so it's time to realize that he didn't even believe in it anymore. He said it's absolutely crazy uh, to even consider that, uh, that it could, uh, such a complex thing as an eye could ever come into being, making the whole idea of natural selection into being something extremely ridiculous to even r r consider. And if the statements above weren't clear enough, kids, uh, then the inventor of the, the the false evolution. Then he say Charles Austin, uh, Charles uh, uh, Darwin. He also say, I'm quite conscious. I'm I'm very aware that my speculations about all this run beyond the bounds of true science. In other words, he was just saying it. It's not true. That's what he was saying. It's beyond the bounds of, of uh, true science is his words. And after many years, uh, it came around that we got to realize that earth is crammed with heaven and every bush is aflame with God, but only those who see it take off their shoes and stand on holy ground like a Moses in the old days. But one thing for sure, I'm so excited because that snake of Eden, uh, who is was me, uh, they called him lots of things. He's not even around on planet Earth now, uh, because in the days of the latter day, they call the guy Elijah, and that's that's just me. I'm just Daniel. That's just call me Daniel, Dan, Danny, Dan. But in those days, uh, for one thousand years, the Bible say in Daniel twelve one. So people stop looking through glass darkly. And then they could see clearly. And so in these days, uh, Satan had to be removed so that God could say that he loved us all. Just as simple as that. Because that's all he wanted to do is just love us. Because he loved us a lot more than anybody ever even imagined. As a matter of fact, when he loved us, his love gets like a rainbow. And his love is just beyond beautiful. Because he doesn't just love us, he adores us. He's dedicated to us. He has divine love for us, which means uh, he's faithful, and which means he's loyal, and which means he could never let us go. Uh, Jesus say that uh, he's never going to lose anybody from his hands because he just loved everybody. And so in the latter days, God's pouring out his spirit of love on all flesh. And that say that in the Bible would happen. Look, there go my, there go again every time. Murphy Law, if it can't go wrong, it will. But at least I'm not mesmerized by uh, the devil no more because he has been removed because he was the accuser of the brethren, kids. He was, the book of Job say day and night, he go before the Lord, tell tell the Lord all about our, our bad stuff. So how could God say, I forgive your iniquity, your sin, and I will never remember it unless you get rid of that guy. For 1,000 years, the Bible say. So that's a happy thing. Uh, now, there's still some bad demons, some some guys, but they got no leader now. So they run away and they hide in the in the like uh, in the in corner. And besides, don't worry about all that six 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 stuff that you hear, because it say in Revelation nine four that God because God love you, He gonna make sure you don't get tricked no more and mesmerized and hypnotized, and He gonna put His mark on your forehead in, invisible now. But it's going to be 777. It's the mark of the Lamb because Jesus is the good shepherd of all the flocks of man. He says so in John 10. And God is the Lord God of all mankind. So we got to have that God because that's the only true God. So it's time to, to look at what we've been doing. We were so sure that, uh, you know, of stuff that wasn't true, like... Uh, like, uh, well, the dinosaurs couldn't fit on the ark. No, God wanted, had the flood to destroy all the dinosaurs. That's the secret. That's the secret. And so guess what? In this hour, uh, it, it's really true that before Charles Darwin passed into glory, because we all go to glory, uh, there's nothing we got to do to ever get saved except love. Because the Bible say in 1 John 4, 7, that all those who love are born of God and know God uh, because uh, God is loved, born again. And guess what? Then we, we're going to be mesmerized by his love. It's just going to be like, wow. And if anybody comes to bother us, we'll just be bopping them on the beeper. Because I have this guy, he keeps coming around and he keeps trying to eat my brain. 
and all day long this guy's bugging me and he's just he's just terrible he he really he likes to uh, so if i get the uh, in mood where he's just bugging me too much i just i'm like rocky i just give him one of those and that's what rocky from um sylvester stallone say he say that love isn't even love unless it's loyal so you gotta love your parents they love you so much a lot of times the kids don't understand the parents but sometimes they make mistakes because there is no good people. The Bible, that's what the Bible says. No good people, not even one, Romans 3.10. But guess what? Most people are good anyway because God live in us and those who love are born of him. No matter who you are, no matter what you think, because it's never been about that, uh, lest any man boast. No one could boast about love. Uh, we just got to stay loving because if we commit uh, the unforgivable sin, it's throwing God out of our heart and not having no more love and so it's time oh dear my poor light went right out oh dear well I guess I better come back that's what happens what can you do so love from love and remember no more ever get worried about uh, that mark of the beast stuff just look for love because the bible say that all those walking with the spirit of love are under no condemnation so look into your heart and let your heart become like that let it become wild and free and once you leave uh the 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 the, the place where you need to, to go, uh, then never be too hard on yourself either. Because if you make mistakes, and everybody will, uh, even if you go two step forward and one step back, you're doing pretty darn good in this world. We all going to make mistakes. So don't beat yourself up and know that God doesn't love you people. He adore you. He's so dedicated to you. He can't wait to just put his arms around you. So until next time, I say unto all people, who like uh, watching uh, Mr. R here at this channel, come on back and tell all your friends. And then, if you do, then guess what's going to happen? Then I'll come back next time, and I'll put back on my little hat. And But I'm always going to make sure I put on the Rudolph nose on this guy so that I can lead everybody as the main dinosaur out into the real world so that we don't got to bop those guys on the beeper when they come and bother us. And if they bother us too much, one thing you could do, you could just hit them with your horn. But, you know, sometimes we got to turn the other cheek. So maybe don't hit them with the horn. Hit them with your tail because a horn hurt too much. So tail is better. So unless he's really trying to eat you and then you... It's okay. Ah, I can't take it. That guy keeps trying to come and eat my brain. I, I, I make me pull out my hair if you be true, if it's honest.